When Elizabeth was born, she had a very small head. Like the minute I saw her, I knew something was wrong. The baby was diagnosed with CMV, congenital cytomegalovirus, which can be passed from a pregnant woman to her unborn child, sometimes resulting in birth defects. Lisa Saunders' daughter had severe brain damage. Because all I could think about was her diagnosis, her prognosis. During pregnancy, Saunders had a toddler and ran a daycare, which put her most at risk for suffering complications from the virus. It's spread by person-to-person -person contact, usually through urine or saliva. Dr. Brenda Balch explains children and adults may only feel mild flu-like symptoms and recover quickly. But of the 30,000 babies in the United States born with CMV each year, 5,000 will have serious problems associated with it, such as mental disabilities, vision problems, and hearing loss. The CDC advises pregnant women to wash hands often, especially after handling diapers or toys covered in saliva. They should also avoid sharing food with toddlers or kissing them on the mouth. The interventions are simple. When you're pregnant, it's nine months of being more cautious with regards to the spread of disease, and it's worth it. There was physical pain that she endured, and that, that's hard to even recall it, to write about it. Um, I don't want any... No parent should have to see their child in pain. A quadriplegic with cerebral palsy and partial blindness, Elizabeth endured countless surgeries and bouts of pneumonia. She died at age 16 after suffering an epileptic seizure. Then I had a chance to look to say, okay, surely pregnant women now are being warned how to get, not to get this virus, and they weren't, which was shocking to me. So with House Bill 5147, Saunders is asking legislators to make Connecticut the second state in the nation, after Utah, to require CMV education and testing. A writer, this mother is also trying to spread the word through her books. She hopes to spare other families the heartbreak of seeing a child struggle. In those dark, lonely nights with Elizabeth, um, you know, I'm just trying to get her to see dawn you know, and trying to get her through another night of pain. I would have done, of course I would have done everything I could have done to prevent that. That's Mommy Minute, Sarah Cody, Fox, Connecticut.